Thank you, Alice. We are just under 14 hours away from the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix opening to the public. The grandstands are up, the track is set, and the drivers are in town. Many of the biggest names in IndyCar racing were all in one room in the Rincen today. Our Hobie Artigue was there too. Hobie, it was a kickoff before all of the fun begins. Yes, it was, Kimberly, and right now we are in the middle of the action for the Detroit Grand Prix, actually in the middle of preparations. Drivers getting their first look at this track. As you look down Jefferson, cars will be pushing 200 miles an hour down this straightaway, but last year's champion, Will Power, getting his initial look at what's to come on Sunday for the big race. But right now, it's all about getting used to something that is completely new for this event. The transformation is nearly complete with Jefferson going from everyday road to something you don't see every day. As the Detroit Grand Prix gets ready to race in the middle of downtown. It's in the heart of everything. I just, I see it as a big win. It's been more than three decades since racers sped down these streets and a much different layout compared to Belle Isle from maneuvering to even the material of the track itself. Here we're going to have pavement, we're going to have concrete, we're going to have tarmac, we're going to have uh, manhole covers, we're going to have so much things that we need to take into consideration. Amazing to think we were able to put it all together with that, but uh, look, it's a different venue, it's going to be the best man wins. But it's an exciting change for racers, from the course to the crowds. From an atmosphere standpoint, this will go through the roof, you know, compared to, to what Belle Isle was. But this, I think, has the potential to be even great, greater. And uh, I'm excited. It's it's the inaugural running of bringing it back down downtown. The field is stacked with talent from Indy 500 champ Joseph Newgarden to last year's winner Will Power. The series is the strongest it's ever been as far as competition, quality of drivers. Really looking forward to getting on the track. They've done a lot of work, a lot of resurfacing, grinding, and uh, it looks it looks pretty cool. A brand new opportunity to win on the circuit for what's already being called a win for the city in the new home for the Grand Prix. Everybody has come together at one time to make this happen, and I'm so thrilled to be part of it, and uh, I think it's going to be something that will bring a lot of notoriety to the city, and believe me, the economic benefit to the city will be terrific. And it should be a terrific weekend here in downtown Detroit. And accessibility has been a big thing for the event, wanting to bring as many spectators here as possible. There are a lot of free viewing areas for the race coming up this weekend, but tomorrow is free Grand Prix Day. Grandstands 1 and 9, those are the grandstands over by the finish line. Those will be general admission tomorrow so people can come and watch the first practice session before qualifying begins on Saturday. That's the story live in downtown Detroit tonight. Hobie RT, Local 4. Okay, Hobie, we appreciate it so much. And at this time tomorrow, we'll all be out there live along the finish line. Uh, Devin and I will be joined by Kim, Jamie Edmonds, uh, and of course, Bernie, you're going to be there too. With, oh, yeah. With a look at all of the fun, and uh, we can't wait. Yeah, I heard 65 and uh, cool tomorrow. <laughs> I, you were wrong. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you're off of it. I'm, yeah, right. I'm bad at numbers, you know that. <laughs>